there were a lot of red flags. A lot of red flags. And she knew and she was doing whatever she could to, to get away, get her children out of that situation. 13 Action News is digging deeper after a horrific tragedy. Five members of the same family killed in what police are calling an apparent murder-suicide. Masa Saidi has more with the interview you'll see only on 13 Action News. Steve, Trisha, this is where the young mom's body was found. It's such a shocking and horrific crime, but co-workers say they knew that something just like this could happen. We know it was him. Jason DeJoudam accused of doing the unthinkable, chasing his wife in public before fatally shooting her. At some point, police say he turned the gun on his own children, killing the three kids one by one. Was she afraid for herself? She was very much afraid for herself, very much. Did she fear for her children? I don't think she did fear for her children. I don't think she would have even known. Tonight, those who are closest to her detailing how she tried to escape. She had filed for divorce, tried to get a restraining order, denied a restraining order. This after so many threats from the man she once loved. If you don't just come back and make things work, then I'm going to kill you and the kids and myself. But modest and strong, the 35-year-old stylist would tell friends. Everything's okay. I'll handle it. You know, I'll handle it. And I just wish we would have ignored that and, like, helped her no matter what, you know, she said. Her devastated co-workers speaking out tonight to honor her memory and let the world know. She was doing all the right things. People always say, why don't they leave? Well, she did leave and it was out of her control. And co-workers have a message for the victim's family. They want you to get in touch with them. They want to help. They want to fundraise, but they have no way of getting in touch with the family now. A vigil is set to begin here at 7.15 p.m. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News.